Hi guys, this is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. We are counting down to cannabis. This is the Toronto Star countdown, the largest newspaper in Canada, 32 days, 15 hours, 26 minutes, and 30 seconds away from history in Canada. It's true, recreational cannabis will be legalized in Canada. It is true, and so far, the markets are green. So why are the markets green? What is causing this huge momentum in the cannabis sector that your boy Rich has been predicting all year? And remember, I predicted that we would hit 1,000. We are at 818. We got so close, we went all the way to 900. We were touching 900, and then we went all the way back down to 700 yesterday. The shorters came out, but today they are back in the green. We are showing strength. This is exciting times for cannabis investors. Now, the news I want to talk about is Aurora Cannabis. Now, everybody knows that I love Aurora Cannabis. I think this is a ridiculously good price for Aurora Cannabis if you want to enter in. This could be a great entry. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. We are free. We do not want your money. We're not charging anybody for anything here. We are strictly for education, entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research. Invest in the company because you love it, not because you heard it here on Rich TV Live. Obviously, you're going to hear it here first. We bring you all the winners first. We bring you all the news, all the updates first. Now, take a look about this news. Aurora Cannabis spin out Australis Capital to begin trading on CSC on September 19th. I say pardon? That's next week. So if you... Hold Aurora Cannabis stock like your boy Rich does. And you love Aurora like your boy Rich. You're getting some free shares. It's true. Free shares. Aurora Cannabis provides update on Astralis Capital public listing. Astralis expected to commence trading and distribution of units. The units we're waiting for people to Aurora shareholders on September 19th. 2018, Aurora Cannabis Inc., Aurora, or the company, TSX, ACB, OTCQB, ACBFF, Frankfurt, 21P, WKN, A1C4, WM, and Astralis Capital Inc., Astralis, today announced the common shares and warrants. Together, the units of Astralis are expected to commence trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange, the CSE, under the following trading symbol, a-U-S-A. I like that. At the opening of trading on September 19, 2018, immediately following the completion of the distribution of units by Aurora to its shareholders. Thank you, Aurora. Congratulations to everybody that got in on this. Free shares for all the shareholders. I've been waiting for my shares. Thank you, Aurora Cannabis. And what are you thinking about the new stock, AUSA? Is it going to be a winner? If you think it's going to be a winner, smash the like button. Share this video everywhere. This is only going to make Aurora bigger, better. To date, the medical use of cannabis is legal in 31 states, the District of Columbia and the territories of Guam and Puerto Rico. Nine states plus the District of Columbia have proceeded with consumer legalization. While momentum continues to build at the state level, cannabis remains a Schedule I controlled substance at the under the federally governed Controlled Substance Act. Consequently, the U.S. cannabis market is fragmented in nature and includes many high-quality operations and technology innovators with limited access to capital. This can create a compelling opportunity for well-capitalized Canadian companies to invest in U.S. assets. This is what I've been saying, guys. The opportunity is going to be in America, a market 10 times larger than Canada, especially considering anticipated market growth with over 50% of the U.S. population currently living in states with legal access. Recent changes in U.S. federal positioning with respect to cannabis 
have positively impacted the perception of risk to invest in U.S. cannabis assets. This has further incentivized capital market participants to seek opportunities to fund U.S.-based operations. Don't say your boy didn't tell you that the opportunity in America for cannabis stocks is going to be huge. Let's learn about Australis Capital. Australis synthesizes decades of relevant expertise, its strong historical relationship with Aurora Cannabis, and other strategic relationships and capital investment execution to build value in the cannabis value chain in the United States. The United States, listen to focus here. Who else focused on the United States? Tilray, which is broken 100, targeting investments in cannabis and associated real estate opportunities. Love it. Cannabis and real estate go hand in hand. It's perfect. Australis is well positioned for early stage access to attractively priced opportunities. Following an, following an oversubscribed non-broker private placement, raising gross proceeds of $17 million Astralis is aggressively identifying high quality investment opportunities with strong growth potential. Astralis has assembled a management team with significant U.S. capital markets operating and regulatory compliance experience governed by an industry best board of directors and deeply rooted cannabis investment advisory committee. So they've got a strong team. With only 32 days, 15 hours, 20 minutes, and 4 seconds away from history, what do you think is going to happen here with Astralis? Let's learn about the management. What are they saying? With Astralis, we've brought together an impressive management team and board with vast capital markets and cannabis industry backgrounds to elevate and pursue investments in the highly fragmented and opportunity-rich U.S. cannabis market said Terry Booth, CEO of Aurora, a very, very, very smart man who is hugely successful. Terry, we'd love to speak to you here on Rich TV Live. Uh, reach out to your boy. Upon completion of the distribution, Astralis' independent opportunity team will leverage their combined experience while applying the Aurora standard to assessing and executing on accredited opportunities that will drive long-term shareholder value. You're speaking my language, mister. You are speaking my language, Mr. Booth. Our team has wasted no time in evaluating a number of potential investment opportunities across the U.S. cannabis industry and excited to initiate our investment strategy upon completion of the distribution, says Scott Dowdy, CEO of Astralis. We've, we are entering the market at the right time to capitalize on these transactions and generate shareholder value. I look forward to providing regular updates as we complete these investments and further define growth vectors to what will be a disciplined, reflective, and aggressive mandate. Now, this is what I wanted to really update for us because we want to know about our shares. Update on distribution of Astralis units to Aurora shareholders. Following completion of Astralis public listing, Aurora and Astralis expect the previously announced distribution of shares and warrants. The distribution will be completed and the Astralis shares and warrants will commence trading on the CSE on September 19, 2018 under the symbol AUSA, which is next week, which is in five days, in accordance with the terms of the distribution, eligible Aurora shareholders will be paid one unit of every Astralis for every 34 Aurora shares outstanding as of August 24th, 2018, the record date. Each unit, each unit will consist of one common share and one share purchase warrant of Astralis. Each warrant will be entitled the holder thereof to acquire one share at a price of 25 cents per Astralis share on or prior to 4 p.m. Eastern Time on the date that is one year after the distribution. Interesting. Very interesting. 
So you will have each unit will consist of one common share and one share purchase warrant of Astralis. Each warrant will entitle the holder thereof to acquire one share at an exercise price of 25 cents. See, this is genius. What they're doing, they're giving the opportunity to buy a warrant at a price of 25 cents, which means that's going to put money into Astralis's bank account. This is genius. And if the price of Astralis is higher than 25 cents, we can buy this knowing already what we're going to be getting back. So it's pretty genius. I like this. This is a smart company, the way they're structuring this. And this is going to put money into the company's bank account, which is going to build their balance sheet. And that's the number one thing. That's the modus operandi for every single CEO is to build shareholder value, build a balance sheet. Okay. Build shareholder equity. In accordance with applicable security laws, only Canadian beneficial shareholders can participate in the distribution. So only Canadians can participate in this. Canadian beneficial shareholders or their broker representatives are required to confirm Canadian residency by no later than September 14, 2018. Otherwise, they will be deemed to be non-resident shareholders and will receive the net cat proceeds from the sale of their units. Canadian shareholders who hold their shares in Aurora through a brokerage or other account are therefore urged to contact their brokers to ensure that their brokers have confirmed Canadian residency in the manner to be provided by CDS or DTCC as applicable. Wow. Today's the date. Today is the deadline, guys. If you haven't contacted your broker, I haven't contacted my broker. I didn't know about this. I'm going to contact them after this video. Contact your broker. Make sure that they qualify and verify your Canadian citizen. Make sure that they give you your shares, okay? About Aurora, headquartered in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, with funded capacity in excess of 500,000 kilograms per year. That's right, 500,000 kilograms per year and sales and operations in 18 countries across five continents. Aurora is one of the world's largest and leading cannabis companies. Aurora is vertically integrated and horizontally diversified across every key segment of the value chain. From facility engineering and design to cannabis breeding and genetics research, cannabis and hemp production, derivatives, high value add product development, home cultivation, wholesale and retail distribution, that pretty much covers everything. Highly differentiated from its peers, Aurora has established a uniquely advanced, consistent and efficient production strategy based on purpose-built facilities that integrate leading edge technologies across all processes. Wow. Defined by extensive automation and customization, resulting in massive scale production of high quality product at ultra low costs. This is why I predicted it would double. Intended to be replicable and scalable globally, these production facilities are designed to produce cannabis at significant scale with high quality industry leading yields. Did you hear that? Industry leading yields at a high quality and ultra low per gram production costs, which will keep their costs down, their profits up, which is vital long-term. Each of Aurora's facilities is built to meet European Union, EU, GMP standards, and both of its production facilities, and its wholly owned European medical cannabis distributor, Pedanios, have achieved this level of certification. You gotta love Aurora Cannabis. Huge. In addition to the company's rapid organic growth and strong execution on strategic M&A, which to date includes 15 companies. Here you go. You ready for this? Medrelief, which is a monster trading at over $30 before they acquired them with an all-stock deal. Canvas RX, Polodon Pharmaceutical, Pedenios, H2, H2 Biopharma, Urban Cultivator, BC Northern Lights, huge name by the way, Larson Greenhouses, Canamet Therapeutics, another $30 stock that was trading before they acquired them in an all-stock deal. And Nadia Labs, Hot House Consulting, AgroPro, Borealia, and pending acquisition of ICC Labs, another 
million dollar acquisition, which is an all stock deal, which is brilliant. You're putting a revenue generating asset on your balance sheet and you're using stock. That's why you go public. Aurora is brilliant. They are the Berkshire Hathaway, the Google of cannabis stocks. You heard it here first. Aurora is going to explode. Your boy Rich is all in on Aurora. I love this company. Aurora is distinguished by its reputation as a partner of choice and employer of choice in the global cannabis sector, having invested in and established strategic partnerships with a range of leading innovators, including the green organic Dutchman Holdings, which they own 17.5%, and I tell you guys all the time, Radiant Technologies RTI, which I tell you guys about all the time, Hempco Food and Fiber Inc., which they own 52%. Hey, Charles Holmes, how you doing? We know, we know Charles very, very closely here at Rich TV Live. Yeah, they own 52% of hemp too, by the way. Hempco Food and Fiber, great company. Can Group Limited, ASX in Australia, CAN, Micron Waste Technologies, MWM on the CSE, Chum Holdings, one of my top stocks, under $2, CHOO, made me some money, love me some true. Namaste Technologies, don't we love us some Namaste over here? Yeah, they work with Aurora too. Evio Beauty Group a private company, Wagner Dimas, another private company, CTT Pharmaceuticals on the OTC under symbol CTTH, and Alcana Inc. on the TSX CLIQ. Would you think that that's a few relationships? Yeah, I feel like that's a few relationships. Let's just learn a little bit about Astralis. Astralis Capital identifies and invests in the cannabis industry predominantly in the United States. I love this. If you want to buy Astralis, let me know. Comment down below. Share this video everywhere. Like this video. I'm interested in this company. A highly regulated, fragmented, fast-growing, and evolving industry. I'm telling you, these guys are focused on the U.S. like Tilray. Investments may include and are not limited to equity, debt, or other securities of both public and private companies. Financing in exchange for royalties or other distribution streams and control stake acquisitions. Love all of it. Astralis Capital adheres to... You know, it's funny. Investments may include and are not limited to equity, debt, or other securities of both public and private companies. So they're just going after all the companies to acquire everybody. Financing in exchanges for royalties. So financing so they can own a piece of revenue, genius, and other distribution streams and control stake acquisitions. So they're looking for controlling interest in other players. They're just gonna acquire their growth. Astralis Capital adheres to stringent investment criteria and will focus on significant near and midterm high quality opportunities with strong return potentials while maintaining a steadfast commitment to governance and community. I love it. This sounds like Rich TV. They're following the same guidelines we follow. Astralis's board, capital board, management, and advisory committee. Members have material experience with and knowledge of the cannabis space in the United States. Extensive background in highly regulated industries. Adherence to stringent regulatory compliance, public company, and operational expertise. For more information, visit their website at www.ausacap. CAP.com, and you can go to richtvlive.com, hover over stocks. All the tools you need are right there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We bring you the news, we bring you everything you are looking for in the universe. You can find all the tools you need right there. It's true. What do you think about this news? What do you think about Aurora Cannabis? I think it's going to explode. I think it's going up from here. The market is green on a Friday for the third Friday in a row. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be a winner? Will you buy this stock? I want to know your opinion. Comment down below. This is your boy Rich. Aurora Cannabis spin out Astralis. Capital to begin trading on the CSE on September 19th. That's in Five days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 
Wednesday. Thursday? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They will be live and trading on Wednesday. It's true. And we are 32 days, 5, 15 hours, 6 minutes, and 30 seconds away from history. Recreational cannabis will be legalized in Canada. It's true. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich. And I'm out. Peace.